from the corner of my girlfriend's goalpost bed. Good God Almighty, it's Mark, time for all caps football. Mark McGrath, why did you have to become Ryan Seacrest? <laughs> oh, he's off to a hot start. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Caveman's here tonight. Load is here tonight. For an impressive. <laughs> We're impressive around a triple header of football for you tonight. Week number 13 on the schedule with a triple header of beautiful football. Uh, Sean. Lucky dup. The- Lucky number week 13. Lucky. Oh, lucky. Unlucky. Maybe this changes the fortunes tonight for some teams. Maybe some teams just go to absolute shit. Who knows? We shall see. It's going to be beautiful. Three games of football tonight. And a happy early birthday to load. Hey, happy early birthday. Not going to sing the full Woo-hoo! song. Because we got to pay the rights for public domain. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Also, Penn's party of one. Penn's party of one has, has, has raided his army of the Penn's army of one. Good gimmick, good gimmick. All right. You're moving things on here. Uh, the, tonight's triple header we'll see here in our game. First game tonight, the Boston Jelly Beans are at 5-6. and six. Uh, They are taking on the Ottawa All Caps at 3-8. and eight. The Ottawa All Caps right now are in contention for a spot. They potentially make their second appearance in a tank bowl. They won in, what was it, 2021, I believe? Yep. 2021, yes, the Ottawa All Caps winning tank bowl. We came back with the first round draft pick, ended up with a neat, neat season. Not bad, but then their fortunes, eh, not as good this season. But hey, who knows? To be fair, to be fair, all of our wins have been, the thing is, looking at the, at the table, we have outscored our opponents. But you've lost by stupid means. True. Turnovers will kill you. They rank 14th overall in turn- turnover differential, but they're highest. They lead the league in offense and rushing offense, thanks to Greg's. And second in pass offense. Uh, Boston kind of a win uh, uh, down in the lower levels there for points per game with their star quarterback, Wizardy Herbert, out for the uh, foreseeable future, but their pass defense is looking good but that's those are numbers and numbers don't make sh- don't stand for shit in this game yep in this league game number two tonight we'll be seeing another team in contention and another team in playoff contention as they'll be squaring off the lafayette sub jugulators at three and eight also with quarterback troubles as their star quarterback yabba dabadu is out for the season kingston is uh, on uh with sharif rock to Kasba, i believe <laughs> trainer with a sub slap football and a reminder golf uh, three as uh, a three and eight will take on an eight and three. The Kingston Punishers looking to move things up the list and improve their playoff spots. And a very cool uh, football after dark with another team in contention and contention as well. That's the theme this week. Uh, the San Antonio Gordetas are at seven and four. They're taking on the the three and seven Kansas City Mahomies. And our remaining games to be simulated in between games one and two tonight. We got. The 7-4 Winchester 73s, who have been quietly sneaking up at 7-4. They're taking on the 4-7 Myung-Yong Munji. Uh, the Baltimore Challenge Passers are in an even 500. They're facing the defending champions, the Reading Rainbows, who have been, again, dominating, doing a fantastic job this season. Uh, Saskatoon Sparkle Farts are at 6-5. They might make a late move. They're facing the 7-4 Madison Wolfpack. Uh, the Dinosaur Fossils are at 6-5. and five. They're taking on one of the two teams currently in the lead for contention. The Lawn Fair PG tips at 2-9. and nine. Uh, The Hope Peak are at 7-4. and four. They're taking on the 5-6 and six Fighting Polygon team. And the South Park By God Bill Hills will take on at 4-7 and seven are facing the 7-4 and four Pittsburgh By God Salad Fries. And in a heavyweight battle, uh, which was regionally locked out because Alaska, because Burbank... Decided to fuck with the satellite system. Uh, the Dead Horse Mountains at nine and one are facing the nine, the eight and three Burbank Buzzchins, who are tops in their division. And then we got the Augusta Duffers at five and six, taking on the Alaska Pipeline at four and seven. Speaking of feeds, something's up up here in the booth going wrong with the monitors. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me let me just kick the monitor for a second. Ugh! 
end. All right, should we get now? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. You just, you just, just some good, good, just a, some like percussive maintenance. Well, that'll. Just no. gonna put the the ball of the heel right to the side of the of the <sighs> the Zenith television that I bought from AliExpress. Yeah. Zenith, <laughs> the, the Xanadu television. <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> the bought online. The master. Yeah, so if Alaska actually tried this year, won their games, KC would be 1 9 instead. 2 0 against us. Hey, how about that? K Man's yep. a little on the quiet side. Let's change that! <laughs> how am I sounding right now? A little better? Alright, maybe a little bit higher. Get a little higher! Much better! Alright, I, okay, I think we're good now. Yeah. Angry at what the sub slap! Angry head for the sub slap. Ten off from a nice number, I guess. Hey, yeah. My 59. Car, my car is coming up on 69,690 miles. When that Very day, nice. And when that that's going to be a nice trip. Yeah, it's that gonna, is going to be a nice trip. And, of course, speaking of a very nice trip, it's time to go on a very nice trip to the gambling hall as we're going get to our, get our predictions going. Nothing too crazy this week. Got Boston versus Ottawa in the opener. We got Jelly Beans in all caps. Pretty self-explanatory. One minute on the board for betting. And of course, bet responsibly, unless your name is Joseph Lexington. At that point, just mortgage your house and put it on red. Ladies and gentlemen of the draft class of 2009... There are no ties in the XILF. None. Oh, there's overtime in the XILF. But you don't want overtime. You want a tie. And there are no ties in the XILF. Don't name your kid Merton. Sure, it may be funny at the time. But what about all the other kids not named Merton? You know they're going to make fun of him. Yeah. Hurry up, shrimp. Nothing wrong with that. Add water, get shrimp. Add water, get shrimp. It's that simple. Yes, indeed. So we're getting things all set here. Some mid table, some uh, some low table fuckery tonight, and we got the we got the hype train. Good. <laughs> Ten seconds. Give me that hype train, baby. Give me that hype train. Gotta get him that Come hype on. train. So bitch! So close! What the hell is going on on Black Snow? <laughs> Boston Jelly Beans versus Ottawa All Caps. Five and six, second on three and eight. And this game. It's next! Joe Jermaine. Joe Jermaine. Joe Jermaine. Joe Jermaine. Joe Jermaine. It's crunch time with taco chips. Ooh. Why are other other t uh, chips too hard and disgusting? Splain yourself. Crunch. With taco chips. The flavor of taco on a chip. It's taco chips. Ooh. Welcome to today's Sounds game. tasty. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the arena at TD Place. Welcome to the parking lot behind the Kmart. Here comes them beans. What the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to today's game in Youngstown, Ohio for regional blackouts. <laughs> Never mind that shit. Here come the all caps. And now your whole I remember team. one time I drank too much. I had a regional blackout. <laughs> There's Gregus Brinzistagevich leading the men onto the field. Bless you. There's Eater Reef. The Polish screwdriver himself. San Antonio is playing later tonight, and they are two games back. And by virtue of who had the better cooling, soundest Polish hardware store, Ottawa gets the ball first. 
Game number one of our triple header is underway. Bouncing off the netting and Ottawa on the return. What a special teams play. Kickoff return four yards. Drive them deep the in their own on the return. Four yard line. Within They'll the four yard, yard line. Four yard line. First and ten. Greggs, who was originally a, I believe, a running back and then transitioned yep. over to a uh, quarterback. And they throw in coverage, incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. Dangerous Number throw there by Greggs. The the Ill advised. Ill advised. Second and ten. Ball on the four yard line. He was looking for one person to hold the light bulb and two for spin the ladder. And he will throw again. Over the middle, again in double coverage, again ill-advised, again incomplete. Number 93, the intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. One time uh, wrecked the guard cemetery, found 700 bodies. <laughs> the throw, left side, got a man open, and a first down for Ottawa. There you go. There you are. There Taking off the early cobwebs, moving the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 16 up yard up. line. Take it down. Greg's on the throw over the middle. Got a man open and a touchdown for Ottawa. Read that coverage like a book. A poorly written one. A coloring book, if you will. But still, the long-haired tag team of, of Wagner and Breska Greggs is on the hold. No good! We got a doink! Doink, bra! You scared the kids, bra! Hit the netting right off the side of his foot. I think his hair got into his face. You hate to see that happen, but Ottawa is still up 6-0. Yeah. You clown! I believe, it's not, which. I believe it's pronounced Greg's. <laughs> Thank you. Be the witch. It sounds it sounds exactly as it's spelled. Greg's. Cody Parkey, is that you? Cardi Parlay? Kick is away. Bounces off the netting, and it's gonna be Boston on the return for their Whoa! What a nice, fun, low hit. He's fine. Kickoff return. Yeah, he's fine. Yards. He's fine. Martin on the didn't keep his key, the keys in the pockets. He's lurked. You gotta go, you gotta go with the flat yeah. wallet. You gotta go with the tactical wallet. Flat as a board. Flatter than Kansas. Flatter than, than Saskatchewan. Melton on a catch. Perry makes the reception. And a first Eight down for Boston. Moving the play. ball. First and ten. That's all on the 15 snow. yard line. Too early to tell. But we're hoping for something cool and back and forth. Look dumb and ridiculous. The throw. Lofts it and a touchdown for Boston. Two throws, two completions, and a touchdown. Shelton on the hold. Arden will come in for the kick for the extra point to take the lead. Kick the extra point is, is good. Shelton to Kent on the 15-yard pass ball, and it's Boston in the lead. Leading Shelton. by a rouge. Leading by a Moulin Rouge. A Creole Lady Lemonade. A Cher Believing in Love. A Rod Stewart's Muppet Hairdo. A, a, Brian, a, point. a Brian Adams guitar solo. A, a pair of sunglasses at night by Corey Hart. And the kick is away. And that dribbles into the end zone. And if the you kick ball goes through the end zone, zone for a touchback. Uh, lonely fans. First nah, nah, ten. you get the All implements the to dribble into our end zone at Corny on Main. Well, I'll never think of a turkey baster the same way again. Exactly. Uh -huh. Gonna throw. 
Coconutty incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. The hell just happened there? Uh, that's coconut. And it's delicious. Greg's on the throw. Yes, that is a that is a very much a drive-by fruiting. Off the side of the head. New can't come, bonk. Can't come down with it. Nothing. His hands are just there for decoration. Like, what do we do? What do we do? Second and ten. Ball on the five-yard line. Throw. With protection, the other the league that's holding. Here it's all legal, and it's a first down! Deep ball! I'm unstoppable! You're scaring the, the right. ball, bro. Oh, that ain't bro. cool! That ain't cool! Something yeah. in your mind? Yeah, your yeah, your mind! Dude was just running like Naruto there! Tosh ta trash talking. Talk trashing. Trashing! It's all legal! Yep. Just like Cleveland and shitty first referees. Ten. Yeah. Ball on the 16 yard line. Had more time in the pocket than I do at Lonely Fans. Oh boy. Hi -o. Hey. Good protection, good protection. Throws. Almost caught off the wall ball incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number 93. The intended receiver. Take your clothes off and rub yourself all over your opponent. Oh, you'll knock Second us out with defense. Ball on the 16 yard line. <laughs> they tried that at training camp once as part of a hazing ritual. And then turn the lights on and said, Stop that, you goofs! Throws! Swatted incomplete. He was under pressure there. Pushing down on me. Pushing down on him. The intended receiver on the Nobody's fault. Third and ten. The third and ten we go with 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. Evenly paced game in the first. Greg's the throw. Off his back foot, incomplete, and we may be looking at a field goal scenario. Number 80, the intended receiver on the play. Could be, but I don't discount Greg's even from this range. Canadian mullets are abound. Wagner comes in for the kick. Look at that beautiful hockey hair. Kick is down. Kick is good. It's a 32 yard field goal by Wagner, Canadian style. And it's nine to seven with a second to go in the first quarter. Then to bring in Zane Gonzalez in the field goal. Now give me Jose Cortez. And the kick is away, taken on the fly, short kick. And a decent tackle on the special the teams the from Ottawa. Now we're bringing to the, the end of the first is, quarter. The, the score is an odd one, nine, nine to seven. seven. Ottawa all caps in the lead by two. Boston will be getting the ball at the eight yard line. Both the drives for Ottawa have started within the five yard line. Push the line. Shelton to throw to the right side has a completion and it's a modest game. Bit of a confidence booster, but he still has three completions in a row. He is a perfect Ten. three for Breaks three. Five yard and a touchdown game to start this game. Second and five. Ball Watch on out, the that James on the line. beans. Don't get behind him. Push the line. To throw. Beans, beans, sack. the musical fruit. Oh, beautiful sack! Alex runs him over! And I believe it is time for our first of potentially many Slap Mart. Back! Slap of the Night brought to you by Slap Mart. It's where America shops in North America. And. Oh! Get America's Choice condoms! For when you need protection. When you don't want to pull out of Afghanistan. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Slap mark where America shops. Yuck. The throw. Shelton lofts one. That is miraculously caught for a first down. How did he? How did he catch that? How did he plan that? He overthrew his dude by like five yards. See, there's the ball. There's the ball. Yeah, that's like three yards overthrown. 
Tipped by number 81, just as they drew it up. Tent with the catch, the first down. And so help me God, Marty Shelton is now a perfect four, four for four. A Wendy's value meal. Oh, <laughs> with his coach popping up in the upper left corner like Gizmo. No, that's no, that's that's Claire Frank. That's the Iowa side of the field. Oh, that's the hologram version. I gotcha. Five in a row now for Marty Shelton. Kent, with the reception, seven yard gain on the Chucking play. it to Kent again. Second and three. One of the Coco Falls on the 19 yard line. Four minutes to go in the half. Boston trailing by two. Shelton. Oh! Cannot hold on to it and then snaps the Warner watch. Number 95, the intended receiver on the play. Third and three. Ball on the 19-yard line. Good start from Marty Shelton and the Boston Jelly Beans. They go to the sweep. Run play works for a first down. They got the block. On the run. Five-yard gain on the run. pass, and that's they were loaded up the left side, but first good block and, and a first down. Ball on the 14-yard line. Incredible offense we're seeing. Competent offense. The throw move it, move it. off the back foot, incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. He was pressured there. The intended receiver on the play. Second Watch out ten. for Eater Fall on the 14-yard line. Big man, and he wants beans. He wants the beans to go with his, go with his lobster. The throw. That is incomplete. <laughs> I believe that was Hollings again. Hollings yeah. ass. Hollings ass. Hollings, Holling ass. And ten. Ball on the 14 yard line. To a third and 10. Shelton back to throw a little bit farther back and throws. Cartwheeled. Ooh. He's fine. He's fine, but ooh. Number 91. Ottawa on getting, the the, getting the greatest hits Eight going. Six on the play. Ball is at the eight yard line, and Boston's going to play the safe move and kick the field goal. Arden will come in for the kick to match Ottawa and make it a one point lead. Kick is down. Kick is good. A 23 yard field goal by Arden. And outside of the missed extra point. It's damn near a, a tie ball game, 10 to nine. Scorigami enthusiasts are just folding their papers in, in enjoyment over this. Yes, uh -huh. yes they are. 10 to nine. Very low scoring game. Very, very hard earned yards in this first yes. half. Yes. Kick is away. Off the back wall. And into the secret spot it goes. The kickoff goes through the that, was like some dude, that was some like, dude perfect stuff right there. Dude perfect. Yeah, that's her. Lonely fans. Cover the spread all season. Come on, come on. Behind paywalls. Greg's on the throw incomplete. Incomplete pass. Very interesting game. The intended receiver on the play. It's competent back and Second forth and football ten. between these two. Ball on the five yard line. As soon as I say that, something shitty is going to happen. Yes. You're t you tempt the, the football gods, caveman. I have. There's the table. <laughs> Number two. Slappity dappity dippity dappity slappity dippity yabba doo. Oh, it's my slap mark. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Slap Mart. Slap and I brought to you by Slap Mart. And it is where? America Shops. Damn it, I got the sardine bean. Oh, that means you won, right? <laughs> yeah. You won. Sardine bean. Why is he not on the drum, dumb draft names list? There he is going through a table. <laughs> oh, no, no. Hey, I wonder what... Uh, let me try something here. Hey, I wonder what this button does. Uh... And nothing can go wrong. Oh no, it all went wrong. Oh, okay, that's what it does. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, you can say so. 
third and 11. Ball on the four yard Everybody line. in the chat here then? Breaks off the back foot, incomplete, rush the throw, and it's a fourth down. The pass balls in. That's Gotta the button you press away. up. The intended yeah. On the play. Wagner will come in for the kick. It's just to boot this one away as hard, hard and as far as you can. But it's the wind resistance of that Canadian mullet hair that severely hampers his kicking strength. And it shows. He's taking no the 15 good. yard line. And a good pop near midfield. Good starting position for Boston. Yeah! Listen up, buddy. Come here. Yeah, we need to capitalize on this turnover. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now get out there. Yeah. That is the scariest looking adult baby I've ever seen. Yes. Wind resistance. We're indoors, caveman. Yeah, First well, there's fans chance. blowing. Ball on the yeah. Yard. Yeah. Do you think the air's not circulating here? The throw. Yeah, that's a modest gain to about the 20 yards. Right? with the reception. Yeah, Five yard easy. gain on the play. You never been to any of those indoor Second golf things? Like the ball the air, on the 21 yard line. Someone's got those sicko nipples. One minute warning. Ain't me. I, I bundled up today. Game time temperature is 43 degrees indoors. Ball on the 21-yard line. The air conditioning bill is through the goddamn roof. Brings us to the one-minute warning for the Boston Jelly Beans, and they are on the move. Throwing deep. Fighting his way, but they keep him out of the end zone. First and goal for the Boston Jelly Beans. Defense does not recover. That's a glitch. Don't worry about that. Just looking up the, uh, the uh, temperature conversion for that. Yes. Yes, we have this this ring that uh, cooled the six degrees Celsius. The six degrees First of frozen goal. bacon. Ball on the one yard line. He's got really too silly. First and goal for Boston. Chance to expand their lead instead of playing one upping Ottawa. And for the first time today. Oh, yes. Hello, a run play. Also on a second goal at the five yard line. Sweep to the other side. Touchdown. He's in on a, t on a contested. And Boston now jumps out into the lead. Breaks the stalemate with their defense. 40 seconds left to go and Arden will come in for the kick. Give him room, give him room. No foot, Boston no will be getting the ball. No, to start this we got a doink. No good. Aristigoy with, hey, the, cave. with the run. Doink. Hey, caveman. The score is... I need a clown. No. Say the line, Lode. Doink Say bra. the line. <laughs> Doink, brah. Say the other line, Lode. Oh. oh. It hasn't gotten full sicko yet, though. Okay. But the score right now is a firm, uh, you need a clown. Available somewhere in Canada. Maybe the Northern Territories? I don't know. Like uh, GTA area. Yeah, here we go. We got an onside oh, kick. No, you now. get the yes. <laughs> yes. Exclude those windows. 16 to 9 is the origami scoregami. <laughs> hey, you guys, clear off the window. We've got some heavy rain out here. This is going to be easy. The scoregami killer. <laughs> Ball has to go at least 10 yards. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! No! Oh, 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 yeah! Yes! Yes! Yeah, this is mad! Woo! Yes. Oh, he dancing! He dancing! It happened! It happened! I kick six onside edition! <laughs> An onside six! Never in the history of this league has this ever happened in the regular season up until now. And I assure you, there was no tampering with this. 
the Here goes kicks. bubble number boop, 51. Boop. Who's our hero? That is Ida Reef! Yes! The absolute legend! The Spin, star he lineman! On the kicker! He gives him the whop! And he's into the end zone! <laughs> You'll believe a lineman will score a kick six. That is a, I believe it will be official. It might be, I believe, a 12 yard kick return touchdown. And a spin move on the kicker who didn't even care. Ian Reef has, has Say the line, load! Say the line! <laughs> I already did what Say that it again. happened! Wagner's in for the kick! Yes. It's good! 11-yard yes. kick return by Eaterif, the first ever regular season. Onside kick six. Only two times in history has that occurred. And just to make sure that I wasn't all fucking with you. AI, even, CPU, offense, defense, special teams. There you go. Make it official. Yep. That goes into history books as the first ever regular season onside kick six. And the shortest touchdown uh, kick return ever in league history. Book it done, Eater Reef. Eater Reef has earned his place in the record books. And Cave Cat is looking at me, looking at me with his ears back like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> the, the animals are the first to know. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, Boston! Still on it. Oh, good night. <laughs> there he goes. There you go, on the return. Bye. Go, the offense calls a timeout. All time. Good return here for Boston. To about the 24 yard line. They'll take over at the 24 yard line. First and 10. This is in range for a Hail Mary netball. Let's see what they do here. They're going to throw. Shelton yeets it. Incomplete, and that's going to bring in the end of the second quarter. At the end of the first half, the score well, is Well, in a sicko scoreboard, it's tied at 16 apiece. And the Blue Girls. That's not, no, it's not blue because of the lighting. It's. Hypothermia, it's cold as fuck in here. All right, on the field. If you want a trophy engraved, have I got the girls for you? Are they out on the field? Well, some shitty fuckiness happened. Yep. Both teams have so far logged in under, uh, just under 100 yards of offense individually. 99 yards for the Boston Jelly Beans, 75 uh, for the Ottawa All Caps. Kick return yards for Boston, 67. Uh, the Ottawa All Caps, uh, 18. However, most of that coming on the 11 yard kick return by Eater Reef for the touchdown. Can't believe he spin moved on the kicker. Like, just. How, tight. How, how can a lineman move that like that? Just, just give up. Like, just. If a lineman does that to you, just hang up the cleats. Arden, you're, you you don't exist anymore. You've been blanked out of existence. Marty Shelton for the Boston Jelly Beans thus far. 8 of 12, 95 yards and a touchdown off to a hot start. And on the flip side for Greggs, uh, not really his best Ooh. night of passing. 4 of 12, 75 yards and a touchdown, but they are it's their star players that are making it happen. OJ Kent with a, has the hot hand for has a hot hand for Boston, but again, Eater Reef. Eleven yards. Eleven yards. One kick, touchdown. Kicks uh, onside kick six, the first ever in history, in the regular season. Well, this is a we this is the weirdest fucking score part I ever saw. <laughs> seven nine seven nine nine seven. Uh, Greg's to Butler, and the extra point was no good, made it 6 nothing, And then Shelton to Kent made it 7-6. to six. And then Ottawa added in a 32-yard field goal by Wagner near the end of the, near the, end of the quarter to make it 9-7. to seven. 
And then a uh, 23-yard field goal by Arden for Boston. A uh, five-yard run by Aristigoy with the extra point failing on their side. And then the infamous Eater Reef onside kick. And we're back to 16 apiece. This first quarter solved absolutely nothing. Nothing! Two of our other games we got here for you tonight. We got the Lafayette Subjugulators. Uh, they are taking on the Kingston Punishers in game number two. Uh, we'll be simulating our games in between games one and two, as we always do. And then uh, after game number two, we'll let you know which teams are going to be playing. A uh, little bit of a spoiler alert. Week 14 is the light season, so we is the light week. Uh, so that's next week. So we only have two games scheduled for that and two games to be simmed. So don't worry. It's going to be a going to be a light uh, light affair for next week. Uh, and uh, football after dark is our third game. This is San Antonio Gorditas. We'll take on the Kansas City Mahomes in football after dark. Let's get into it. Well, things just got silly. We got a double ball on the field. I repeat, we have a double ball. All right, who left the ball out there? Double ball. Double ball. Double ball, 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 ball. Do we have a new El Asico in the making? Who is the new, new, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Kick is away. Take it on the fly by Boston. And he's about to about the 12 yard line. Kickoff return 12 yards. Boston with that deceptively Martin good special the teams. Are we going to get the drive in the second the half? Maybe. Yard line. Who knows? First and 10. Either Reef had it, he had an entire wall of blockers. And he's like, this is perfect. Shelton to throw. And that goes incomplete. Third quarter is always the dull time. Compared to the way it's like in the Oscars football, we have to consider the premiership quarter. Ball on yes. the 13-yard line. Third quarter is the bring in Garth Brooks and have him in the booth with John and Al. Push the line. Rose, and no, he dropped it. Incomplete. More prepared for, more prepared for the hit than he was the catch. Number 85, the intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the thirteen yard line. Throw again and it's completion, but he snuffs it out after about a two or three yard gain in Boston. Struggling on their offense in the in the, the first part. Makes the reception. Three yards to gain make on the play. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he caught it. Greg's ain't going down the sun comes out. And fourth and seven and a questionable decision. At the 15 and a half yard line, Boston's going for it. Oh, this this is a kind of questionable decision. High risk. High reward. First down, Boston. Goofied himself to, to avoid getting hit. And Aristigu, who we're going to refer to as Gooey from here on out. Ball on the 23-yard line. Gooey has himself a first down for Boston Jelly Beans. Arista Goofied. Yep. To throw. Oh, was looking to overthrow his, overthrow his guy. Ball's ball's incomplete. Like Number one. 88, the incomplete. intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's got on the left the side. Keep it tight. Move it, the move middle it. incomplete for Shelton. Incomplete pass. Number 88, the intended receiver on the ball. His defense clamping down. Third and 10. Ball on the 23 yard line. Still tied at 16 apiece. Goes again over the middle. He's got another completion and another first down for Boston. Just chipping away at the possession. Sixth first down of the evening. Makes the catch. One of these days I want to see a wall ball pick play. six. First you ten. watch yourself. Ball on the 11 yard Didn't we have one of those? Uh, I don't think we had. Uh, no, we had a pick, but I don't think we had a wall ball pick six before. Ooh, goes for the sweep. I don't no, know. it was. It was, it was like a coconut one yard gain on wall ball. I think it was like a. Ball on the ten yard. I don't quite I think remember. Had, yeah. Run play got about a yard. Shelton, they're going to sweep to the other side, and 
Ottawa snuffs him out for an LOL run play. And also, excuse me, wake up. To a third and ten. Boston can still get the first down. Rose incomplete. That's going to bring up a fourth down. Incomplete pass. Can't have to kick it. The intended receiver on the play. Yep, you're within range for the field goal. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to bring in Arden for the kick. I believe this possession has gone almost the entire quarter. Arden on the kick. Kick is down. And the kick is good. Three minutes, 24 seconds off the clock. All leading to three points. 19 to 16. That drive solved next to nothing. We've had a turd six before. That's where it's an interception, but then they fumble it, and then the fumble's returned by the, the throwing team to run it back for a touchdown. Yeah. Classic times. Kick is away. 19 to 16, the score. Hangs a bit. I was also... I was also remembering a uh, play from the, from the uh, one game from my first year in the league. Uh, it was, uh, not, not, actually not, not my first year, but uh, it was the first year that uh, Madden was in the in the league. The Madden Moon base was fumble, 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 scoop six, touchdown Boston. Good God. Boston makes him pay. As Greg gets jarred on the sack. Ball comes loose. Ball is fumbled. Nothing but beans. And Jackson scurries into the end zone. Boston with a two-score lead, opening things up in the third quarter. Please make this kick. I don't want more sicko scores. Miss it, miss it, miss it. He's good. Four yard fumble return. Son of a bitch. A scoop and he's 6 and and it's 26 to 16. That has to be a score gummy somewhere. Yeah. But, but, yeah, like uh, 2021, it was a, basically, basically it was the fumble that turned into a safety. Oh, the Madden Jacksonville game. Yes. The first one, yes. That game was... That's top five fuckery of all time. The funny thing is that in Canadian football, you kick and the ball actually hits like one of the pylons. You get rouge. Oh no, the kicker had to stop him and that is money! That is a big return. That's a big return, and that's a big return on your investment of world title loans. Call 1 800 World Title, have money now, pay for it later. Now accepting Crypto Bros territory on currency. It's a picture of a monkey. It's supposed to be worth something, but it's not. It's world title loans, have money now, pay for it later. Greg's on a quick throw, incomplete. Incomplete pass. Number 80. Coverage, they're diving for it. Ottawa with their best starting field position of the night almost ran it back the whole way. That would have been their second kickoff return for a touchdown of the night. God damn! Greg's catch is made but keeps him out of the first down. But he's within five. Within the five yard line. Ball's at about the four. Third and one. Ball on the four yard line. Time ticking down. Ottawa still has a chance to make it into the end zone before the end of the quarter. Greg's will hand off. Stopped. LOL run play. Fourth and three. And they're gonna go for it, but they get a move to the other side of the end zone. Twenty-six to sixteen. Twenty-six. The if this was Canadian fo rules football, they would let allowed the one last play because there was still time on the play clock. Ah, but it's not. 
Drew. First set of five minutes to decide it. Ottawa chopping at the end zone on a fourth down. He's going. They're going to throw. Greg's to throw. End zone touchdown. Ball breaking through the invisible glass plane of the goal line. And Ottawa with the ensuing kick will be three points away from tying this up. Also, Ottawa, I hate to say this, but minus five yards. Of rushing. Good clutch catch, and Wagner comes in for the kick. The extra point and that is kick is good. good. Greg's to Butler again on a six-yard pass. 26 to 23 with an absorbently large amount of football remains to be played. A ShamWow-worthy amount of football left to play. A SpongeBob SquarePants of football remains to be played. An errant Miami beach towel worth of football left to be played. Kick is away. Boston on oh, the return gets helicopter a bit. Go! Hi! Kickoff He's return to 11 yards. He's fine. Martin on the return. He's fine. Don't worry. First and 10. Yeah. Ball on the 12 yard line. He's fine. Boston Lee looking to clutch on and hold on to their beans. They're magic beans that are holding on to that three point lead. Shelton with a completion. Aristigu makes the catch. And it's, okay, Gooey. it's Gooey getting the catch. The and game reports that the sale of Felgo has not been finished. Probably because they don't. Game. Probably because they don't know. Probably it's, it's the sugar tax. It's what it is. It's the sugar tax. Throws catch. Good job protecting the ball so it didn't get knocked loose. Perry on the reception. Knew that he had the lead, didn't want to risk it. On the play. Risk an odd fumble, so he holds on to the ball. First and goal. Settle for the first down. On the eight yard line. And that's advantageous to Boston because that continues to move the clock. Go, go. Shelton. Hit as he threw, incomplete. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Despite that ball really rustles my jeans. It really ball rustles my jeans. That really goldens my shires on the quick pop. Whoa, okay. All right. Quick toss. And it's gooey again. That's a no gain. All that for a whole lot of nothing. Third and goal. Just move the ball to the other side of the field. I gotta say, Gooey has been has come alive here for Boston. Ryan play, and I don't know that got anything. Nope. Strickland on the run. Loss of two on the play. Two yard loss. Not too late for another little run play, but either way, the clock continues to move, and that's what matters for Boston to hold on to the lead. I don't think concern, isn't it, anything? Yep. And Arden will come in for the kick. This will make it officially a one touchdown game. Take the line. Block the kick. Block it. Kick by Arden. Beep. Is no this good. Is. Wide right. Matt scramble for the ball. And Ottawa tried to take it out of the end zone. They, they gave it a good effort. He just made a big mistake here. We're going to make something out of it. Now go on. Ottawa has the back has their backs against the wall. Claire Frank giving some uh, motivational uh, words there and some freeze pops. Yeah, yeah. Ball at the four yard line. Greg's to throw. Push the line. Catch is made and a first down for Ottawa. Greg's now with three in a row. You better get ready, defense. I don't know if you know. Correction, um, some people think that the uh, coach, always coach, is Coach Buzzcut from Beers and Butthead, but line. that is incorrect. That is the reanimated corpse of former Ottawa Rough Riders coach, Frank Clare. Screen pass does nothing, and that's also what Freezer Burn will do for you. 
Yeah. Martin makes the tackle. One yard loss on One the One yard play. loss on the field screen pass attempt. Second and 12. Still a loss, but Ball of the not as damaging as one would think. It's a second and 12. Ottawa will need to at least get into field goal range. It's another screen pass that did something. Butler makes the reception. One yard gain on the play. West, uh, West still has its time timeouts. Yes, both teams still have their timeouts with a minute 54 left to play. Franks will throw. Pump fakes throws. Catches made at midfield to bring it to a fourth down. With the reception. You're pump faking. What are you pump faking for? Timeout called by the offense. And it's Ottawa calling timeout. That's her first timeout used. And this is a potentially ball game. It's a fourth and three. Ottawa will need to convert. This is not a questionable decision. Catch! Ford Progress gives him the first down, barely. Makes the catch. Three yard gain on the play. They got what they needed, and it's a fresh set of downs for Ottawa with a minute 30 to go. Ottawa could run out the clock, kick a field goal, and send it to overtime. Come on, come on! Oh, thrown into coverage incomplete. The fastball's incomplete. Number 91, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10, ball on the 21 yard line. Minute 10 to go, time ticking down. Greg's to throw, in coverage again, incomplete. Timeout called by the offense. And Ottawa will call time, they still have the one minute warning in their favor. receiver on the play. Third and 10. To a third and 10 with a minute four to go. Nail-biting football. Love Sacked! That is Jackson! Who had the scoop six earlier. <laughs> Dom is too sweet with the sub-slap. Hey! Nice to see some mix all left. Hey! Thanks, Dom, for the sub-slap. And Wagner will come in for the deep kick with a minute to go to tie the game. Does he have the range and the accuracy? Kick is down. Wide screen bars. No good. No good. What is going but, on? Oh, they're deep in their their own territory. One more look at that kick. Good effort by Wagner. Did not have the dis did not have the accuracy at all. Had the distance, not the accuracy. And all Boston will need to do is run out the clock. But again, they have to get past the line of scrimmage or the clock will not move. And they're deep in their own territory. They can end up with a safety. The sweep, and he charges forward, and I think that is positive timeout yardage. Ottawa, you will use its final timeout. Strickland, the ball carrier. One yard gain on the play. One yard is all they'll need. Second and nine. Ball on the four-yard line. 52 seconds. Maybe looking at, at most, two more plays to go. One play for Strickland. Stops him behind the line of scrimmage. Clock will stop with 50 seconds to go. Strickland on the run. Loss of two on the play. That brings him back to the two yard line. Third and 11. Ball on the two yard line. On a third and 11. And they're thinking run play again to run out the clock. Shelton keeps it himself and he's on the run. Shelton. Shelton's got the first down, and that might do it. Game. GG Marty Shelton. First and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. Block will continue to move, and I think it's just going to be one more play to go. Strickland, and there's a positive gain, and that will do it. Strickland on the run. One-yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 21 yard line. And 
think if you're going to hold and run out the clock here, 26 to 23 will be your final. Big payouts indeed. Two, one, zero. The final score is 26 to 23. Thank you for attending today's See whose player of the game honors. An honorable mention will go to Eater Reef tonight. We're setting the XILF record for the shortest kickoff return for a touchdown. Boston walks into Ottawa, braves the cold. Biff Jackson will get player of the game. I believe he did have uh, the scoop six. Your final 26 to 23. Boston holds off. Good, I'd say overall good game. Yeah. Good game by both teams. Only one turnover in the entire game. Very strong game. Uh, Greg's uh, for the finishes is night. 11 of 22 for 117 yards and two touchdowns. Not his best night. Not his best night, but Marty Shelton didn't do too uh, well. He did okay. 13 of 23, 152 yards and a touchdown. And player of the game, Biff Jackson. We'll see how he did. Two tackle. Biff Jackson with a... Uh, With a sack. Yeah, the sack had the uh, the two tackles. And also, this it was the scoop six. The four yard fumble touch uh, fumble recovered for a touchdown. Honorable mention also will go to Eda Reef as a kickoff returner. <laughs> yeah. For 11 yards for a touchdown. First XILF uh, regular season. First ex uh first regular season onside kick uh onside kick six. That is an honor that Edel Reef will cherish. And eat. No, he only eats sea seafood. Oh well, yeah. Eugene Milnick, still dead. Yeah, so yep. uh Eater Reef with the eleven yard kick return touchdown, the first regular season onside kick touchdown ever. Ever in history. It's set in records. The only other time that occurred was in Tank Bowl, but again, the, the sliders were different, so it wasn't an official return. 26 to 23, Ottawa. They tried as they may. Ottawa, the six yard pass from uh, Greg's to Butler at the start of the quarter. And then Boston just held him off from there. Good game overall. We'll get those points going. I got a feeling somebody's going to win a shit ton of points. Yeah. Who bet 5% five, five bet on Boston? Dr. Lom with 100 points. Oh, I... Um, Oi! I... Joe bet 50. <laughs> <laughs> McMahon is 4 with, five, with 50. Drainar put 10 on the beans. <laughs> Enjoy your points. <laughs> the jelly beans win. <laughs> yep. 